who among Korean is the most attractive? I believe it varies by individual. Everyone has different tastes whether they prefer cute people, people with florid complexions, hot people, or intelligent people. In particular, there are various human styles. On the other hand, girls typically favor beautiful women who are white and have thin faces, big eyes, and sharp nose. Naturally, this is the benchmark of a beauty created in the 21st century. The definition of beauty in the past was very dissimilar from what it is today. It makes sense that the definition of beauty would alter over time. The biggest issue in Korea is currently facing though are all related to beauty standards. Furthermore, it is widely believed that changing someone's appearance, even if it is artificial, is expected of them if they don't fit the standard. In terms of plastic surgery, Korea ranks fourth in the world. The top three nations in the world are the US, Brazil, and Japan. But based on the population, Korea is by far the most populous nation. Furthermore, Korea has a clear advantage in cosmetic purposes. Despite the fact that the difference between construction and beauty purpose in plastic surgery in other nations is not particularly large. So why do Koreans under cosmetic procedure? What sort of a beauty do Koreans desire? I'd like to learn more about plastic surgery in Korea going forward. According to area, beauty has a different meaning. A round face, a straight forehead, single eyelids, slanted eyes, a short round nose, and small red lips used to be considered attributive of beauty in Korea. Additionally, larger women are more attractive than slim ones because they are better able to give birth and support themselves. The Joseon area portrait Miindo, a beautiful woman, by Shinyunbu, is perfectly appropriated for the standard. However, in the 21st century, the definition of beauty was westernized. Women with double eyelids, big eyes, and pointed noses develop into beautiful women. There is a problem though. Despite the westernization of beauty standards, a Korean's appearance is genetically entirely distant from that of a westerner. The eyelids are a common instance of this. Only 32% of Koreans have double eyelids by nature per the study's findings. However, the majority of Koreans can have double eyelid surgery because they want it, making it the most popular surgery in the country. Double eyelid surgery made of 11% of all plastic surgery as of 2013. However, even though it is not documented in statistics, double iris surgery appears to be more common than 70% of Koreans. They are saying that double iris surgery is not even plastic surgery because it is so common. 25% of the country's total market is made up of the plastic surgery industry. Korea has the more plastic surgeons per million people due to its large population growth. In comparison to Brazil, which is the second largest economy, Korea has 47 plastic surgeons per million people, which is 50% more than Brazil. In Korea, there are currently 1,008 plastic surgery clinics. Among them, Gangnam in Seoul is home to the majority of plastic surgery clinics, roughly 70% of them. For this reason, individuals who have undergone extensive plastic surgery in Korea or refer to as the Gangnam Beauty. So why do Koreans undergo cosmetic procedures? A 2060 found that 46% of women and 29% of men in their 20s reported having plastic surgery. Women in their 20s who underwent plastic surgery reported 44.5% of them because they envied others' appearance, 90% because they had experienced discrimination because of it. Men are more likely than women to feel envious of others' appearance and to receive recommendation from those around them. To put it another way, 8 out of 10 men and women in their 20s seek cosmetic surgery for reason other than their own satisfaction. It can be challenging to distinguish between lookism and beauty sickness. 
Gallup Korea report that 86% of Koreans believe that physical affection is the most significant factor. Even there is a saying that appearance is a requirement in Korea. It has to do with the pervasive looks in Korea. Koreans have a strong propensity to prioritize appearance or to quickly assess the appearance of others. This is suggested by the things beauty is everything and beauty is more valuable than the high-ranking executive in Korea, which are common in the country. Specifically, beauty is power. Additionally, Koreans make individual judgments about people's appearance beyond the fundamental features like the eyes, nose, size of the head and face, length of the neck, and shape of the hand and face. Koreans are accustomed to hearing comments like, your head is so big, you are not well proportioned because of your big head, your eyes are too small, your face is too square shaped. Additionally, people who don't meet the beauty standard are stigmatized as failures in society. Koreans find it simple to make fun of other people by joking that they are, you are too ugly to get married, or you have to study hard because you are too ugly. Additionally, in the case, modern media promote plastic surgery. On YouTube, those who have had a plastic surgery post videos comparing the before and after photos. Additionally, they mislead people into believing that just one cosmetic procedure can completely transform their entire life. The side effects of a cosmetic procedure are experimentally concealed in this process. Do Koreans think they look good enough? Only 34% of Koreans, according to the GFK Global Study, tend to be content with their appearance. In reverse order, 66% of Koreans do not feel confident in their appearance. It indicates that Koreans have the propensity to consider themselves to be ugly. Women with ideal bodies and faces frequently appear in media outlets, confusing people into thinking that their appearance is purple. Teenagers in Korea, in particular, have been influenced by the media and social media to hide and detest their appearance, which is different from the answer. This shows that the rate of body distortion in Korean adolescents is quite high. They are especially preoccupied with their weight. In Korea, 4 out of 10 female teenagers with normal weight and low body weight think they are fat. There is no big deal in seeking beauty. The issue is that everyone obsessively makes their appearance in order to achieve the beauty, which is more in line with human nature. We need to seriously evaluate this plastic surgery overheating. Additionally, I hope that this opportunity will cause you to reflect on the true meaning of beauty. So thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button.